What's up, everybody? This is Dan Kelly here with another Codex review for the Codex Station. Today, I'll be reviewing the six-issue miniseries Blood Tree from Image Comics, published between February 2023 and July 2023. It was written by Peter J. Tomasi, with art by Maxim Simic, colored by John Kaliz, lettered by Rob Lay, with covers by Christian Alame and Brad Anderson, and issue one also had a variant cover by Gary Frank and Brad Anderson. Now, this book is a psychological crime thriller. Uh, it's about two NYPD detectives that are trying to catch a serial killer named the Angel Killer. Uh, what he does is he attaches fake angel wings that he makes to his victims and then has them plummet to their deaths off of buildings, bridges, you know, that sort of thing. And early on, the detectives discover uh, when they find the first couple victims that the link between them is that all the victims are family members of convicted murderers. And uh, when they eventually find who the killer is, uh, which is not late in the series, but they find who the killer is. And when they go into his home, um, they find his you know, all of his plans and everything, or a lot of them, and they find that he is trying to purify society um, by killing these people because since their family members are murderers, he thinks that they have the potential to be murderers themselves. So he's going to purify society by getting rid of them before they have the chance to do that, regardless of the fact that they are innocent and have done nothing wrong themselves. Um. And, and then along the way, there are some, um, not really, I don't I want to say mystery is the right word, but there are some discoveries that are brought to light about one of the detectives who's the main character, really, of the two in the book with him and his family, and how that plays into um, how he investigates this and um, how he's looked at by the killer. So this, it's got a really good mystery to the story. Um, to me, it was reminiscent of Silence of the Lambs, not so much in exactly all of the events that happen, but in just the kind of tone of the story. Uh, it really plays a lot into addressing the idea of nature versus nurture. Um, you know, with the idea that the killer has that, okay, there was a murder in their family, so that means that they could potentially be murderers too, um, as opposed to it being something that, you know, him believing that they have the potential to be just because somebody close to them in their family was. Um, I think that this would end up making a great movie uh, if they were to do something like that down the road, you know, with all the comics that are turned into movies now, who knows? Um, as far as cons for it though, I did not really care for the interior artwork. Uh, the cr the covers were fantastic, but the interior artwork to me just it, it wasn't that good. It, it was kind of lifeless for a story like this. I felt like the artwork needed to be really moody and really dark, and I just didn't feel like the artwork matched the story at all. Especially the expressions on the characters' faces, um, just it, it just wasn't there for me, and. There are some parts of the story that, as good as it is, do feel somewhat cheesy, um, somewhat kind of recycled from typical police thriller plots. Um, overall, it was it was good, but it did fall back into some of those um, some of those things, especially towards the end, like with the last issue. I felt like the last issue, though, it did a good job wrapping up the story, you know, and kind of leaving you with a little bit of something to think about going forward. It did fall back on some of those kind of police thriller tropes. Um, so overall, I would give the series a seven and a half out of ten. Um, to me, it would have been much higher if it wasn't for the interior artwork, which to me brought it down a lot. But overall, the story is enough to... It was enough to keep me engaged and buying issue after issue each month. 
So I've been Dan Kelly for the Codex Station. You can find me online on Instagram at Dan Kelly Art, and you can find us online at thecodexstation.com. And go there, and you can find all of our socials. Make sure to follow, subscribe, and throw some likes our way. And you can also check out some bios of the other Codexers on the website and some merch there. So go check it out. And until next time, I'll catch you by the spinner rack.